everybody welcome back Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today I'm coming at you with an interesting video today today is my video is a video response for a fellow YouTube channel this is for my brother tactical okay for those of you who don't know who tactical is I highly recommend going out and uh, checking out his channel now tack I hope you don't mind but I'm gonna put a link to your channel down below in the description box hope you don't mind brother but this is for all of my viewers to go check you out so please guys go check out Tack uh, he's running a contest right now he's giving away a pretty cool uh, tomahawk and all he wants for you to get your entries in is a video response showing three blades that you enjoy so here's my three blades my first blade is the Mora Companion okay this is a blade that I really like to use I use it around camp. It's, I believe it's made in Sweden. It's a three-quarter tang. Uh, very, very sharp blade from the factory. It's got that little grind on the bottom. Really nice, very sharp. I use this for cutting paracord. I use this for whittling wood. Just all kinds of good things with this blade. I've used it to process game, fish, all kinds of stuff. It's a really good blade. That one's definitely going on board with me when I go somewhere. More a companion. It's got a nice little little uh, plastic sheath that it comes in. Uh, this one I just got in the mail just recently. Again, yeah, it says made in Sweden, but that's my Mora companion. Excellent blade, very inexpensive, and they really they're really really good product. My second blade tack is my K bar. This is uh, Ethan Becker's design. It's a BK2 very simple to design I believe it's 1095 steel carbon steel quarter inch full tang really good blade it's got a nice pummel on the bottom so I can I can use that to to hit you know like pieces of wood and make tinder out of them um, the one thing I don't care too much is this coating I don't really care for that but they say that they put it on there to protect the steel because the 1095 is not stainless and but anyway I've never had no problems I keep tallow on it I put tallow on it one thing that I don't like is that coating right here because I like to use a ferro rod and I can't really strike my ferro rod here so I'm probably gonna take a flat file and make me a little area to strike that ferro rod just remove that coating a little bit I have a couple ranger bands uh, very nice blade this one is like a pry bar it's very heavy very solid holds an edge well that's my second blade tack that's my Becker BK2 again Ethan Becker he was a knife uh, knife smith and he, he this was one of his designs that the K bar company manufactured my third one don't laugh <laughs> this is a machete that I like to carry in fact this stays in my boat most of the time and that's probably why you see all the rust but it says Broadway knife New York made in England I don't know what kind of steel it is. I don't know much about it. All I know is this thing holds an edge very well. I keep it in my boat again and when I when I get somewhere and I need to slash around, get some some stuff out of the way, this is what I grab. It's it's I've had it a long time. I don't even know how thick it is. I don't know much about the specs. Uh, it will do a ferro rod for me. But uh, this is my machete. This is my third blade and this is my VR for your contest hack. You know, I love your channel. I really do. I love the work that you do. Please come check out my channel. Throw some of your guys my way. And I appreciate that. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment on this video. Subscribe, like, share, thumbs up. And down below, go check out my brother Tack. Jump in on his contest. Throw him a VR. Anyway, again, I thank you for all this uh, support that you guys give me. And... As Tack would say, until the next time we meet. <laughs> anyway, guys, I would say have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Later.